start with, we're going to have something simple. x equals 1. Then, following algebra's rules, we divide both sides by infinity. This is where it gets a bit more complicated. Then we multiply each side, divided by infinity, by infinity. Now, before you, before you trick me out and say that the infinity cancels out the, infini the division by infinity, and x still equals 1, think about this. 1 over infinity, 1 divided by infinity, is 0. You think about this because the nature of infinity never ending means that anything divided by it will still be zero, except for infinity of course, will it still be infinity. So if one one divided by infinity equals zero, then x equals zero infinity, which still equals zero. But then you then you can bring back the Infinite, infinity cancelling out the divide by infinity, whereas x equals 1 in this. So from this we get the equation x equals 0 equals x equals 1. And that leaves us with basically 1 equals 0. This may be very puzzling to you, but it, it's not really to show that 1 equals 0, because many people, if I don't say this, will just scold me on how you can't use infinity because it isn't a real number. And it isn't. It's just an idea. It's just to show you how absurd the idea of infinity is and how it can't exist in the mathematical world. Because it makes mistakes. And math doesn't really allow for mistakes, does it? Goodbye. Thanks for watching.